amassed Ukrainian military formation, almost 300 troops backed by dozens of tanks and armored vehicles, launches a surprise attack on a Russian-held village in Kherson region. But the defenders were waiting. Rockets, missiles, shells rained down on the Ukrainian offensive. Bodies piled the fields, quickly stalls and turns into a rout. They ran, those who could get away. They left behind their dead and wounded. They also abandoned their vehicles, armored personnel carriers, fire support vehicles and a tank. All of this in just one battle. Their morale is broken, and the prisoners confirm this. They say they don't want to fight. Yesterday he was a plumber. Today he's given a gun and told to fight. They don't want to fight. They don't know how to. Due to security concerns, we have been asked not to name the settlement where this battle took place. It is still too dangerous to visit, but abandoned Ukrainian armor is already being hauled away. There's a trophy vehicle, a Ukrainian BTR-3U, abandoned several days ago by Ukrainian soldiers who were driven to attack Russian positions, failed and left behind. All their belongings, vast amounts of ammunition, clothes, gear, weapons. But inside, it is entirely, inside it is entirely intact. The thermal sights, night vision, everything's in working order. The vehicle uh, can go under its own power. As for ammunition, while well, they barely expended any, so quick was their retreat. In this one battle, which lasted just hours, Ukraine lost 17 tanks and armored vehicles. 120 Ukrainian soldiers and mercenaries were killed and left behind. Among them, Polish citizens. Their identification documents were found amongst the corpses. Behind me, a BMP-2 vehicle, also a trophy vehicle, captured from Ukrainian troops as they retreated after another unsuccessful attack. Kherson province is rapidly turning into a graveyard for Ukrainian soldiers who were drafted and are now being driven to attack enforced, well-defended Russian positions. And they are being driven to attack. Most of the soldiers that have been captured here, that have surrendered and are, are, are now prisoners, say that they were civilians off to work in Lvov or in, in Kiev, where they were drafted and given a simple choice. Either their property and possessions are confiscated or they choose to serve. In a matter of days, they are thrown at well-defended Russian positions. Morale is, well, there isn't much to speak of. The captured soldiers all say the same thing, that if they refuse orders to go to attack or if they attempt to surrender or retreat, that they are shot by nationalists who are always in the rear, always watching them to make sure that they don't surrender. Despite these heavy losses, repeated along the Kherson front for three weeks, Kiev remains undeterred, throwing more men and material into the meat grinder in a desperate bid to secure a meaningful victory on this front. How many Ukrainian soldiers die for Kiev's victory here is seemingly irrelevant. Morad Gazdiev, RT, from Kherson region.